Hello everyone, this is Shayan Siddiqui with you, an expert business and economics lecturer, an educationalist and a professional corporate trainer. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss with you situational leadership style or 360 degree leadership. The lecture is going to be in English language. If you want to watch the same lecture in Urdu language, just click on this link. This link will lead you to my Urdu language video for the same topic, situational leadership style. So without further delay, here we go. Welcome back and here is the topic situational leadership style or 360 degree leadership. What does it mean by 360 degree leadership? That means a leader has the traits of being an autocratic leader, democratic leader, laissez-faire leader, paternalistic and all types of leadership styles because nobody can adopt a single leadership style. A leader has to change his leadership style according to the situation, according to the need, according to the time, culture, and so on. That's what we are going to study today. All right, moving on. Situational leadership style, it is not based on any single dominant approach, such as a leader is only an autocratic, a leader is only a democratic leader or a laissez-faire only. No, no, no. It's not based on one dominant approach. Okay. Leader has to change his leadership style according to the need. It is about using the correct leadership style for that specific situation or that specific problem you are dealing with. For example, in times of crisis or emergency, autocratic leadership style is required. Shut up, all of you. Just do what I'm saying because I know better than all of you. Situation. You know, crisis. All right. When you are taking an important decision such as investment, you have to be democratic. Okay. I will explain you this situation leadership style with a, with, with a normal example and it's going to cover everything. Imagine you are going with your father and your father is driving a car. Your mother is sitting next to your father and you are sitting at the back seat. Your father is driving a car and suddenly your car gets stuck in the traffic or maybe in the desert and your mother starts suggesting your father oh do this do this take right take left what he will say he will say silent i know how to deal with this problem because it's my daily routine autocratic are you getting my point autocratic now for example you get lost or your father asks you do you have any idea whether I should take right or left? I'm getting confused, man. And you suggest your father, Papa, last time you took right. All right, I will take right now. Democratic, because he is asking for all the suggestions. For example, you three are going somewhere and you get lost. Okay. And your father asks you, hey, can you please open your GPS or the Google map? And you are going to tell me where should I go because I have no idea how to deal with this issue or I have no idea I'm quite new in the city. You have now started guiding your father and your father is simply doing whatever you are telling your father. That's a fair that he has allowed you to take a full control of the or for example, if he calls you to drive the car, that's a fair. Okay, the last but not least, your father is driving the car and he asks your mother, feeling thirsty? No. Hey, you need cold ring? Yes, father. Okay. Anything else? I'm hungry as well. All right. What is he doing? He's taking care of you, taking extra care of you, acting like a father. Paternalistic leadership style. Now apply the concept on the real life. Okay. For example, if you're going to take a decision about investment, what do you have to do? You have to consult specialist people. You have to consult the experts of that specific field. Democratic. Are you getting my point? So you have to change your leadership style according to the time and the situation. All right. Now, 
What are the things based on which the leader changes his leadership style? That is clots. Clots. What is called clot? Because of culture. For example, the culture of the organization that the leader, for example, he has joined the organization. The culture of that organization is to be autocratic. Army. Okay, autocratic. You're not supposed to be suggesting if you are if you are um, a normal ranked person, you simply have to follow the orders. Culture of that organization. Leader. He himself, what are his habits and styles? And he's working with the people. What are their styles and behaviors? He has to change his leadership style accordingly. Organizational structure. Where the organizational structure is a tall organizational structure, flat organizational structure, the span of control is wide or it's narrow. Based on these things, he has to change his leadership style. Task. Whatever the task is. Okay. For example, if it's a routine task, okay, he has to be democratic sometimes. If it is a crisis, such as... COVID-19 vaccine or anything. So they have to be somehow autocratic like WHO. No, 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 don't open the schools. It's going to be very, very, very dangerous. And sometimes they have to be less is fair. Okay, you start making the vaccines. Russia, you also make. China, you also make. US, you also make. Getting my point? So basically, what, what are they doing? By this way, they are acting as less is fair. They are allowing people to deal with this pandemic. Subordinates. People whom you are working with. I have already explained this. So based on these clots, the leader decides what type of leadership style should I adopt. Okay. You may have seen this guy. Very respectful person. Mr. Warren Bennis. I have read his books. Uh, he was born in 1925 and uh, he passed away in tw uh, 2014. He dedicated his whole life in studying leadership, same as John C. Maxwell, one of my favorite. Okay, what he says, let's look at it. Leadership style depends on several factors. First of all, he says nobody can adopt one single leadership style. If somebody does it, I was working in one of the organizations where somebody came, he was an outstanding person, but his style was only autocratic. He was kicked out within a few months, okay? So this is not going to work. In order to be a successful leader, you have to change your style, man. Okay, so what he says, leadership style depends on several factors. The first one is called personality and experience of the leader or the manager. If, for example, someone's personality is like, do you think he's going to be autocratic? No, he has to be whether this is fair or he has to be whether uh, democratic. He cannot give orders if his personality is quite weak. Okay. Um, experience, level of skills, level of skills, motivation of your staff as well. That's also very important. If your staff is highly skilled, you're not supposed to be autocratic there. You are, you are supposed to be democratic. All this is fair. Allow them to do the work in the way they want. Are you getting my point? Motivation. If your staff is not motivated, if their morale are so low, if they don't want to work, do you think if you become a laissez faire there, it's going to work? It's not going to work at all because their morals are low. They are demotivated. First, you have to bring the energy out. You have to motivate them in order to give them some work to do. Are you getting my point? Time frame, for example, immediately if you have to get a task done, if you have to meet a deadline, you have to be autocratic. You will simply say, hey, what I'm saying, just do it. I don't want your suggestions. If there's a lot of time, okay, you can ask them. You can consult with them. You can ask them to do the work the way they want. And the importance of the decision, whether it's going to be strategic or tactical. If it is a, a problem, a short-term problem, you have to solve it. Fine, you may have to be autocratic. But if it is a strategic decision, you have to consult many people. You have to discuss the issue, a specific issue with many people before you decide your strategic plan. This was my lecture on... 360 degree leadership or situational leadership style. I hope you have understood this lecture, situational leadership style. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I request you to please do so. If you have already subscribed to it, thank you so much. But please refer my channel to others so that they can also benefit from my lectures on business management, HR, marketing, and economics. Thank you so much for watching.